Hi, welcome to the garden. In Luke 10, in verse 27, Jesus gave us two very important commands to follow. The first is to love the Lord with all of our heart and soul, mind and strength. The other is to love, love our neighbor. This is so, excuse me. Hermie, turn down that music. What? What? Turn down that music. I can't hear you. The music's too loud. I know. Turn it down. Turn it up? Okay. I didn't know you liked this kind of music. God asks us to love our neighbors, no matter how annoying they may be. It's not easy, but we have to find a way to love them. As Antonio is about to find out, loving his new neighbors is not as easy as it seems. Hey, Max, uh, could you hold down the screaming? You're waking up the whole neighborhood. Hang on! Don't let him go! Soldiers, the rope! Fruit Olympics. I've got to go, men. Take care of this. Yes, yes sir. Welcome to the 10th Annual Fruit Olympics. It promises to be an exciting competition. Don't you agree, Ziggy? Mm. Ziggy, don't eat the equipment. Sorry. Many of the favorites have returned this year, and after a long run in second place, you have to wonder what plan Hermie and his coach Wormy have come up with to finally outdo Antonio for first place. So let's go down to our reporter, Webster, who is with one of them right now. Thanks, Ziggy. I'm here with Hermie, who last year came in second. 
How do you feel this year? Well, Webster, I feel great. I've been training real hard. I've been real focused on the competition, but it's a team effort. Uh, I couldn't be here if it wasn't for, uh, wasn't for, uh, next card, please. Oh, sorry. If it wasn't for the help of my coach, Wormy. There you have it, straight from the heart. Back to you, Iggy and Ziggy. Woohoo! I think I have a great chance of coming in first, Wormy. Why? Because of all the great training you received from me? Nope. Because Antonio isn't here. He always comes in first. As long as he's gone, I'm sure and to... here comes Antonio! Come in second. Sorry I'm late. May the best bug win. Yeah, best bug, right? That's you, of course. Yeah, it's always you. So let the games begin! Ziggy! Oh, I'm sorry. What a peachy performance! A new record for the peach roll! It's up, it's up, it's up! Wow, a new garden record for the blueberry toss. 348, 349, 350. Antonio did it, a new world record for the apple press. So the final standings, Flo comes in third, Hermie second, and Antonio Ant wins again. Fruit Olympics, whoever came up with such a dumb idea? And the peaches were too soft, definitely not regulation. And the raspberries were defective, more like boysenberries. Great work today, Hermine. Oh, hey, Antonio, thanks. <laughs> yeah, you too. Well, gotta go. I've had a long day and I need to get some shut-eye. Hmm, <laughs> that's an interesting way to fall asleep. I just try counting sheep. What's going on? Shh! Can't you see he's addressing the bull? Who's that? What happened? Oh, sorry about that, laddie. Uh, had a terrific shot off the ferry, but it struck an obstacle. Yeah, my head. I only wanted to get it into the hole. Hole? That hole is my home. Oh, so this is where you live. It's nice to meet you, neighbor. Neighbor? moved into the garden? That's right. Angus O'Reilly is my name, and these here are me pals, Wallace and Rodney. Aye. Aye. Uh, we had to move away from our other home. There was a terrible creature that terrorized us. The Swamp Ness Monster. Can I ask you a question, Angus? Uh, sure. Why are you wearing a dress? These are not dresses, they are kilts. There is a difference. Oh, uh, uh. And what's the difference? Well, it's a uh, different because, well, I'm wearing it. Oh, I see. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to practice my music. Oh, I love music. Uh, what do you play? Only the finest instrument in all the world, the bagpipes. I... My ears! My face! It feels like it's being pulled apart.
Who do these guys think they are? Coming into our garden and using our homes as golf holes and playing bagpipes? Something has to be done. I agree. Antonio, you need to march over there and demand that they leave. Yeah, yeah. me. That's right. You're the bravest, strongest ant in the garden. You win every competition we have. Why not you? Sure, I'll tell them to go. I'm Antonio Ant. That's right. I'm the bravest ant around. Nothing can stop me. Antonio, where are you going? I'm going to tell the red ants to get out of the garden. But I don't want you to do that. What? I want you to love your neighbors. Love my neighbors? But these ants are so annoying. Have you seen the funny way they dress? And those bagpipes? It does not matter. You must love others as you would want them to love you. Love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. But... It's the way I want you to handle your new neighbors. By loving them. Okay. Good morning, how are you? Uh, good. I just wanted to... Um, well, um... Welcome you to the garden, neighbor. Oh, that's very kind of you. Is there anything I can do for you? Hmm. In fact, there is. What do you think of this new song I learned? I think I hear my mommy calling. That didn't seem to go as planned. <laughs> Is everything okay, Antonio? Uh-huh. Yeah, sure, everything is hunky-dory. How did it go with the red ants? I, um, changed my mind. We need to love our neighbors. What? But those dress-wearing ants are so uh, annoying. It's kilts, mind you. We don't have to put up with that. Who told you to love your neighbor? God. Oh, oh, oh right. you, well, I he says so. I okay, well. So get out there and show a little bravery. We'll love our neighbors, and that's an order, privates. Oh yes. Right. Uh, ah. Who? Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> well, I need to work on that. What is it this time? We wanted to give you this fruit basket as a present. That's very kind of you. Are you in for a bit of game playing? Oh, we like games. What's it called? Dodge Fruit! Incoming! Well, at least we got the fruit back. Well, come on. Let's kick them out of the garden. I can't stand those guys. Lieutenant, you will love your neighbors, and that's an order. But, Captain, that's a very hard thing to do sometimes. Understood, but you must be brave. Oh, help! Help! Someone needs us. Ants, fall out! Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, you said fall out. I, I thought you said fall down. <laughs> My mistake. Okay. Oh, thank you for coming. This pine cone fell out of the sky right in front of our house, and it's blocking our front door. No problem. We can handle this. Men, in position. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. <laughs> to the right, to the right. Back up, that's good. You're almost there. Okay, watch out for the golf ball. Steady, steady. Yeah, we're out. We're out. Way to go, Antonio. Thank you, Antonio. Oh, there it is. What a shot, if I may say so myself. 
Thanks, neighbor. What's with this guy? Maybe his dress is on too tight. How many times do I have to tell you? It's not a dress, it's a kilt man. Now you force me to explain everything in this little ditty I wrote. Angus is my name, and you know me by my fame. I play my pipe so grand, they're the loudest in the land. I golf and kill so red, and when I swing, oh, watch your head. Cause I'm bigger than life, and it's so nice to be the bull I am. Oh, how would you like to be the big? A bull that just like me. No one can have a better leg. I think you'll all agree. How would you like to be the big? I'm red, I'm proud, I'm laughing out loud. Tell me how could anyone not love me? There's nothing I can't do if there's trouble that's a brew. Cause I'm strong, I'm smart, and oh so brave. But never accuse of all work and no play. Well, hear me make the call. You know we'll have a ball. We've just begun to have some fun, so join us straight away. Oh, how would you like to be the best? A gold that just like me. No one can have a better leg. I think you'll all agree. How would you like to be the best? I'm red, I'm proud, I'm laughing out loud. Tell me how could anyone not love me? I'm the neighbor that you love to live next door to. So my neighbors, here's a thought for you. You know me, you love me, you can't live without. So hip hip hooray, let's give a shout. Yeah. Each day is a party and party's my middle name. I'm not a king or even a prince, but someday maybe they'll have a chance to have the life that we have and have as much fun as we can. How would you like to be the best? A bull that just like me. No one could have a better name. I think you'll all agree. How would you like to be the best? I'm red, I'm proud, I'm laughing out loud. Tell me how could anyone not love me? Tell me how could anyone not love me? Tell me how could anyone not love me? Antonio, what's wrong? All this loving my neighbor's stuff isn't as easy as I thought. Especially when they're so annoying. All that dancing and bagpipes. Yuck! Sometimes other bugs test our love. Remember, my command was to love them, not just put up with them. How do I love someone who's so... hard to love? Pray for them. You'll find a way to show them love. I do that for you and for everyone else. I will, God. Please show me that way. Ow! My swing has been a bit askew. I'm pulling to the right. Angus, why are you so annoying? What do you mean, neighbor? The golf balls, the fruit throwing, the dancing, the dresses. Kilts. The bagpipes. It's getting on my nerves. Oh, I didn't know you felt that way. Well, I guess one of us needs to go then. This garden isn't big enough for both of us. I think that's best. So, well, goodbye. Oh, but laddie, my friends and I like it here. But I like it here, too. How about a little friendly competition? The loser leaves the garden. Well, I'm pretty good at competitions. Good, and to make it fair, we'll play by red ant rules. Red ant rules? What are those? You'll see, laddie. <sighs> Welcome to what promises to be an exciting battle between ants. On the one side, it's Angus O'Reilly, who loves bagpipes, playing golf, and wearing dresses. It's a kilt. How many times do I have to tell you? Looks like a dress to me. <laughs> on the other side, it's Antonio, who loves long walks on the beach, reading poetry, and picking flowers. I never said that. Sorry, I just read what's handed to me. <laughs> Just having some fun, neighbor. First up, the stick toss. The object here, Iggy, is to toss the stick as far as you can. Hence the name, stick toss. I think I've got it. <laughs> and 
and a great throw. Two feet, three inches. Next up, Antonio. Antonio takes a deep breath. He needs some distance on this one. Ooh, I'll tell you what, this is gonna be a good one. He throws. Antonio wins. That's one point for Antonio. Now on to the straw toss. The player who hurls a bale of straw into the air and over a pole. I gotta tell you, this is a very silly idea. Not any sillier than a guy wearing a dress. It's a cute. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Angus just misses. Antonio's up next. Antonio does it! Antonio is up two to nothing! Now it's time for the stone's throw, a very difficult event. Strength and precision are needed on this one. Aye. Ooh, a beautiful throw! Antonio will have to work hard to beat that. Just makes it. Antonio wins round three. Angus prepares for the fourth round of the competition. The acorn throw. A world record. Look at that. That's going to be tough to beat, Iggy. Antonio beats the world record, and just like that, he's up four points to none. Great job, Antonio. You are definitely the stronger ant. I'd better win the next competition, or I'll be packing me golf clubs. Right, neighbor? What's the matter? Well, I'm just wondering, will this really solve our problem? What do you mean? Whether I win or you win, it won't really change things. This isn't about loving my neighbor. This is about beating my neighbor in a competition. It sounds like he's backing out. Hey, Antonio the chicken? Book, book, book. No, book, I'm book. just wondering book, if this book, is the book, best book. way to settle our differences. Book, 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 I've done this book, all wrong. Book, book. Huh. I guess you found out what the final round is. That's why you're backing out. Final round? What is it? Bagpipes! <laughs> ha ha! Oh, no. Not that! And it's worth five points! Five points? Is that true? Yep, it's true. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this little ditty. I wrote it for you. Hey, you win! And Angus is the winner by forfeit. Angus is the winner? But that means... I... <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, ex-neighbor! Soldiers don't cry. <clears throat> Goodbye, Antonio. We'll miss you. Thanks for saving our lives a bunch of times. Oh, oh bye. Oh. Bye, Antonio. <laughs> bye, Hermine. Wormine. Thanks for being my friends. Ha, 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 ha!
<laughs> it just won't be the same without him. No, it won't. Aye. 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 Ah, now that he's gone, we'll have a little peace and quiet. Aye. We could play golf whenever we want, wherever we want. Aye. And the bagpipes, anytime, day or night. Also, I want... I want... Jesus. As I live and breathe, it's the Swamp Ness Monster. He's real! Aye. 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 Like you need a little help, neighbor. He's tamed the wild beast. In all my life, I've never seen nothing like it. Aye. Aye. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? That creature gave us quite a fright. He just likes to surprise you. He means no harm. I. I want to thank you for saving us. No problem. Our sense, we have to stick together. Yes, yes, we do, but after everything we said and did to you, we haven't been very good neighbors. And still, you came back and saved us. Why did you do that? Because God told me to love my neighbor. Hi. I'm sorry. Will you forgive us? Sure, neighbor. Good to have you as a neighbor. Oh, it's good to have you back, buddy. That sound? It's the bagpipes. But who is playing? It's terrible. Hey, <laughs> these aren't as hard to play as I thought. <laughs> Quick, hide in our anthill. Right behind you. Nobody's showing me any love here. There, there. I'll be your friend. Hey, what? Uh, ah! I think this thing bit me. Loving our neighbor isn't easy, but it's necessary. If we're going to understand God's love for all people, we need to begin by loving all people. Wait, I thought we only had to love those who live next door to us. Well, actually, the term neighbor meant anyone who lives near you or someone you come in contact with on a regular basis. So, we need to love our neighbors and the kids at school? That's right. And the people we meet at the store? You bet. And people from other countries? Oh yes, that's very important. And aliens from other planets? I don't know about that. But a good place to begin is with those who are your neighbor. It really is, and sometimes, it's hardest to love those who live closest to you. That's good to know. By the way, Max, we're neighbors. That's right. Your garden is right near me. So if we're neighbors, you're gonna love this. Hit it, boys! It kind of a catchy beat, don't you think? I do. Very catchy.
Oh, good. <laughs> You'll be hearing a lot more of this, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs>